Welcome back coding fans. Here is our last guided lesson in arrays. So uh, last one of Learn to Code 2, which is pretty cool. Uh, and this one is just kind of augmenting some code. We got a pretty big map. They've given us a lot of code, okay? Um, and there's lots that we can do. It'll go ahead and run as is. Um, and we'll just go ahead and run this pretty fast so that we can see what's going on. And I'll kind of look at the code as they build. All right. And so it looks like we've got um, inside square. We've got uh, square corners. We've got the square locks. So we've got these different locks dealing with the different ones. And you'll notice the green one does the green ones and the blue one does the blue ones and the purple one does the purple ones. We have all these blues doing work and just kind of stuff like that. All right. Now, they have placed all this stuff for us, okay? And they've told us what they are, placing the platform locks, placing the characters in platforms, uh, creating an array from existing characters. So they got blue blues for existing characters and blah, blah, blah. We're going to come down here until we find this do cool stuff, okay? Um, that's where we are going to start augmenting this code, messing with it, just kind of making it our own. Um, and we have to do a, a certain amount um, in order to get this check mark, but it really doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and play with this. So square lock, that's these ones in the middle, the green one. Okay, it says move platforms up number of times three. Uh, I'm gonna change three to eight. Okay. And then it has the hoppers turn up. So we're gonna move this up eight. And instead of turn up, I'm going to have all of them grumble, grumble. All right. And then we move to corner lock, move platforms up. So these are the corners. Uh, and that one says seven. I'm just going to have it go up two. And this is kind of all we have to do is just change what's going on. So for expert and experts, we go break it down. Uh, I'm going to think, I think I'm going to have all the experts just turn left. And maybe I'll have them turn left. And then maybe I'll say expert dot. Have them do something else. Collect gem for fun. All right. And you can make it whatever you want. It's irrelevant. We're just here doing this. So for blue and blues, we're having the blues jump, which they're going to have to uh, in order to get on the platform. Now, here's the fun one I like. Um, move platforms up true i'm gonna make that false so they're gonna go down and that says 11 i'm gonna change 11 to six and then instead of having them turn around i'm gonna select this and they're not gonna turn around they're gonna stay facing backwards and instead of arguing i'm gonna have them and like i said all you got to do i'm gonna have them dance like no one's watching there we go. Um, and, and like I said, you know, there is no particular correct way to do this. Um, however you do this is fine. But after this do cool stuff code uh, or comment, you just go through and kind of make it your own. Have them do whatever it is that you want them to do. There we go. So they move up. They turn left and collect a gem that's not there. And then they're going to jump. And they're dancing like nobody's watching. And there we have it. Um, if you don't do enough in here, you won't get the check mark, uh, which isn't a huge problem. Like, if you don't get the check mark here, that's not a big deal. Um, for my students, I'm not even going to require that you get a check mark for this one uh, for a grade. But this is all about augmenting code that's already there. Uh, and in my class, that's where we're going to kind of move on from here. I'm going to give you some source code, and then you're going to use copy and paste and just play with the code uh, to kind of make something your own. Anyway, um, that's the end of Learn to Code 2, and we'll see you on our next adventure. I love you. Bye.